Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure functions. Azure function is basically used to, you know, like have a small kind of like a very lightweight feature where you don't want to write end to end uh, any .NET application or any other kind of application. So for example, let's say you want to send some kind of notification or you want to send email or you want to run a background, you know, or just some job or I would say some kind of cleanup activity or some kind of, you know, migration activities. Those for those sort of things, I think we can use Azure functions. So in this video, I'll be covering two topics, the like HTTP trigger function and the uh, Azure, Azure service bus triggered uh, function. In that case, what will happen whenever there is any new event in a particular queue, then this function will be called and then this function's output can be sent to another queue or you can log it into your console, something like that. All right. So for creating the function, you should have a, a function app, which you can obviously create from the Azure portal. And then once you create that function, you just need to add a trigger. So in this case, you can see this like HTTP trigger is there. And I was talking about the Azure service bus queue trigger. All right. So when you select this HTTP trigger, you will get this pretty much, uh, you know, I would say this code. All right, and what it's doing is saying like, okay, the whatever, whenever this will actually give you the URL, and in that you can have a query parameter, or you can have if it's a post, if you want to make it like a post, then you can have entirely JSON object. All right, so it will it will take care of both the stuffs. So let me run this one first. I'm running locally right now. So you can see this uh, HTTP trigger function is up and running, and we got this local URL. Let me copy this one. And if I go to the URL, if I directly hit it, it will say, let me remove this debugger. It's saying like there is no parameter pass, please pass a parameter. So for example, for uh, queries uh, parameter, we can use always question mark and type a, a parameter name, which is name, obviously. This you can change in the code if you want to have something else. And let's say I'll type ng. You can say hello ng this http trigger function is executed all right so this is what is happening same thing we can do it from the postman i mean like if it's a post so you want to make it like a post api just copy this url and then go to postman okay so i think it's the same port okay yes and then again here also you can say uh, name is equals to whatever it is it's just a you know you are passing this as a you know post body now if you send you should get the pretty much same output you can say if i change this output let's say one two three see it's getting executed it's that simple so it's just to tell you how it will work now it's up to you what you want to do when someone is calling this get api or a post api what you want to do that is up to your business logic what you want to do all right second thing let's say i was saying you will send your application is sending a message to a particular queue let's say q1 and then you want to capture that event in the function as your function and then you want to trigger it altogether a new event to a different queue that is also possible and like that you can do many things so th for that let me uh, open that old solution which i covered in the past videos uh, as your service bus queue in that if i tell you right now i have two events event one and event two what actually i will be doing from this application i will be sending event to this queue i'm mean like uh, for the q1 and then what will happen this event will go to the azure function and azure function will send to the event 2 which is nothing but this, this sample demo 2 event for that also you can use uh, pretty much same function so i'll tell you how you will be creating actually i just directly created let me add one more sorry Now, see, it's telling all this like when this function should be, I mean, like, on what basis it will be getting triggered. So you have these many, you know, like, like you can use signal, you can use uh, topic trigger. I'm covering this right now, Q trigger, and I showed you just now STP trigger. Like then you can use whatever you want to use. All right. So let me cancel this one. I'll go back. 
and when you select this Azure Service Bus trigger, you will get this pretty much code. You won't get these below, below three, four lines. For that, what you need to do, you need to have that, uh, you know, your entire JSON will be coming to this parameter, which is my queue item. And then what you can do, you can deserialize this object. And once you deserialize, you can, like, let's say you want to temper the message or you want to do something else. And what I'm doing, I'm just changing the message. I'm saying from Azure service, uh, from Azure function. So whatever is the message I will be sending to uh, my Q1, it will change and it will um, append this, you know, uh, this uh, string you can see from Azure function and then it will send that event again to the Q2. So and where we are defining this, you can see obviously in the parameter. So uh, this is my uh, event one that is nothing but Q1 and where it should go that is like service bus and this is the Q2. All right. So if you run this one, I'll just show you. I'll go back to this uh, queue application and if I run this one and let me add a debugger first in my handlers so I have handler 1 and handler 2 all right my application is up and running this message I'll show you where I'm sending also mm -hmm. All right, let me send this message. I'll say hello world. And you should see I'm sending event to sample demo one event. All right, that means the first queue. If I release this, see the callback came or I mean like the, we got the event from the event two. And if you see the message, you should see from Azure function, hello world. And we just pass hello world. All right so you are able to see how we are able to do and i'll just show you the settings as well so for example uh, if you are doing from portal right there is one small catch so i mean this is how you will be creating the function once you create and you will be adding a trigger instead of a storage you will be selecting the service bus and then you will see a method like this one so if you see in our current code i am just sending this like we are defining like this uh, uh, out, we are returning this output as a return but in case of if you are doing from the portal directly then you need to have a out parameter actually here you will say, say comma and then say out parameter and whatever the variable name you will define in, in the output window i'll show you where it will come Yeah, it's over here so when you will select like where the what where the you no know, output of the function should go so in that case you will be clicking on this as add output and then select that window and then you will be giving a you know variable name over there the same variable name you have to you know mention in your uh, this parameter and it should be as a out parameter all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much